Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and it is time for another challenge over at the Jada Blossom blog. This one is Anything Goes, my favorite. So I am using Jada Blossom's Whimsical Gnome stamp set, their card mat dies, their border dies too, their winter banner dies, their winter dies, their stitch circle dies, the octagon treat box and the octagon Christmas add-ons one, along with uh, Doodlebug's six inch winter wonderland pad. So I've got a piece of amethyst allure cardstock five and a half by um, eight and a half inches and I'm scoring it at four and a quarter inches to make a horizontal A2 size card that's cut out of amethyst allure paper trank cardstock and I cut that pattern piece out of that uh, winter wonderland paper from Doodlebug using the card mat die and I'm going to add that to my card front with an eight with some ATG tape there we go so it kind of looks like a snowy background I'm going for like kind of a wintry looking card today. And um, now I cut out that same card mat die using Paper Trank's white cardstock. And then I used a border die with the hill from Border Dies 2 to cut like a little snowy hill. And I'm going to add that to the card front with my um, ATG tape again. I cut it out first with the uh, card mat dies because I wanted that continuous stitched border all the way around my card. And there we go. Fun stuff. Um, I scored my card base with my Teflon bone folder. I used my Martha Stewart scoreboard like always. Now I'm just sticking a cheapo piece of white paper on the inside that's um, four by five and a quarter inches. I believe that's Nina um, Solar White or no Solar Crest 65 pound. And now I'm going to add just uh, a little strip, <coughs> excuse me, a little strip of um, pattern paper. That's that one with the all the borders on it. And I just trimmed out two of the borders. And I'm going to stick that down on the inside of the card base just to, you know, pretty it up a little bit. And now I'm going to go ahead and do some inking. So I cut out, um, I used that pattern paper from that Winter Wonderland to cut out the little um, hat, the furry part of the hat with that pattern, um, pattern purple cardstock from uh, Doodlebug. And I cut it out with my Gemini machine. And now I'm adding just some Distress Ink and Dusty Concord all around the edge. And then I cut out that pattern paper or that uh, plaid also from that pad using the little hat from the um, Octagon Dies Christmas Add-ons one. Super cute stuff. And then I cut out the mustaches with um, American Crafts gray cardstock. And I'm using some uh, Copics in C1, C3, C5, just to add some, you know, make it look like it's hair. And I'm just going to add some flicking in from each side. Nothing too crazy, just to, you know, add a little bit of interest. Um, make it a little bit special. Now you'll notice that I'm working on quite a messy piece of Stampin' Up! paper, but this is what I do. I use my sheets over and over again until they're done. So it's not so wasteful and it keeps my surface really clean. I find I kind of like, I like crafting on them. There we are just doing some flicking with that. Like I said, it's Copics and C1, C3 and C5. Just repeating it over and over again until I get a look that I like. Just trying to make it look like I said, like, like it's a mustache, you know, add a little bit, of, make it a little hairy because I am making a gnome today. Just kind of fun. Now I'm just doing the same thing, the flicking with the beard part of this. And you notice you can go right over the mustache section because that's going to be hidden by the mustache. So, you know, you can go outside that and no problem at all. So I'm just flicking on all that, those little hairs. Just trying to, like I said, add some interest, add some texture, make it look cuter. <laughs> you know, got to make it cute. Now you want to come and play along with this um, challenge over the Jada Blossom blog because it's it's so easy. It's an anything goes challenge and you just have to use some sort of uh, Jada Blossoms product on there somewhere and you can enter, um, you know, enter your project. I'd love to see it. Now this is a piece of cheapo white cardstock, same thing that I lined the inside of the card with and I cut out the octagon treat box background with that. And now I'm just going to stick everything down on the front of it. And the nice thing about this is, is that um, basically, you know, it, it's going to be completely hidden by the way that I lay everything down. So I'm just getting everything in place. I've got the little mustache in place. Now I've got the little hat in place where I'd like it. Um, Okay, so basically, um, I've got to peel off that little mustache because I didn't like where that was going. 
because I'm going to put the hat on first because the mustache is going to kind of go over it. You'll see. You'll see. So this is the first time I've made a gnome using these octagon treat box dies, but I kind of was picturing it right when they brought them out. So I'm just trying to decide where I'm going to lay everything so it looks like a gnome. So I've got to make sure that all the white is covered because I don't want any peach showing through. So I'm going to trim off the top a little bit. No one's going to see this anyway. It's going to be on a card base. So I'm just trimming it off and then I will quickly get everything else lied down in place. So I'm just adding everything to this card base using ATG tape. There we are. And then I will pop on that little, supposed to be furry trim, but it's just a purple trim in this. I'm adding it with ATG tape and then along with a little bit of art glitter glue on the ends. And I'm just going to sort of lay that down to cover most of the white of the background. There we go. And then I'm going to reattach that mustache that I made the mistake of sticking down in the first place. There we go. And now all you see is that little bit of white and that's gonna be covered up by the smallest stitch circle die. And the um, peach color is Whirlwind Peach Cardstock. And I'm just going to pop that up with Stampin' Up Dimensionals. And how cute is that? It's like a little gnome. Like get out of here. It's perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to stamp my sentiment on the front of this card base using my Misty. And um, the sentiment is Gnome Doubt It's Your Birthday. So kind of fun. I have a few winter birthdays, as always. And I'm just going to do some stamping with Verse Fine Claire Nocturne Ink. It's my favorite for stamping sentiments, I find. It just stamps a really nice, crisp um, sentiment. I just love it. There we are, and I'm just going to stamp that. Make sure I get a nice image there. Perfect, gotta love that. Make sure everything's good. There we go, I'm gonna restamp. And then that's that, perfect stuff. So now that I have that background all set, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with this cute little gnome. I'm going to stick some ATG tape on the back and I'm gonna slip that underneath the hill a little bit. So he's kind of peeking up over the edge, which is kind of fun. And then I've got stitched oval dies and I use the smallest one to cut out little hands. And I did this in the past um, you know, so I'm going to do that again to make little hands. He's holding on to the snowbank. He's reached the top and he's peeking over the top saying, no doubt it's your birthday. There we go. And how cute is he? Like so darn cute. And now I'm going to pop up the little ball. I didn't show you, but I cut out the little circle out of that same purple and did some inking around it with that dusty Concord ink from, it's Distress Ink from Ranger. And now I went ahead and I cut out that snowflake die with paper trank white cardstock. And then I cut out the banner die snowflake. And I'm just going to layer them with some Stampin' Up Dimensionals. And now I'm going to add um, a Nouveau Crystal Drop a few and a few more just for some interest and some texture in Simply White. Because, you know, that's my jam. I kind of, I love that. And how cute is this little gnome? He's so cute. And you could just picture it. You could make a gnome look like anything you'd like you could make them make them for all the holidays how cute is he I love it so thank you so much for stopping by be sure to hop on over to, to the Jaded Blossom blog be inspired by all the design team members maybe come and play along with our challenge it's an anything goes just use something Jada Blossom in there and maybe hop on over to the store if you don't have these products and get your hot little hands on them so thank you so much for stopping by and for watching my videos I really appreciate you guys thanks everyone bye